I thought my world was going to come to an end. I literally just, my heart stopped beating. I mean, you never want to realize it. You never want to get any news that your daughter's sick or your son's sick. Or, I just, I literally, I felt my heart coming out of my mouth and just, I couldn't breathe. And I, I felt like I, it was like a, like a roller coaster, like, you know, uh, I just can't explain it. It's just something that you, you hope as a parent you never hear or you never experience. Yeah, you never want to, I, I, that was like my worst nightmare coming true. I mean, I, you know, you read about sick kids and, and, and me being a parent, every time I read about something like that, I just pray that never happened to one of my children. And the day my daughter, the day we found out she was sick, it, it was just like one of my worst nightmares coming true. And, you know, it's sad. I, I thought my daughter was going to die the day the doctor told me that. And it, it's, it changed me. It really, I just, it changes. yeah, it changed us all. And it's just, it's kind of hard to explain. I just hope, I wouldn't wish that on any parent. It's, you know, and there are a lot of parents out there with sick kids. And, you know, we, we just, we, we pray for them all. We wouldn't do it because it is hard. We just cherish every single second, every single moment because we're living up our time and, you know, just, appreciate each other and we're there for each other. Stephanie's going to be on anti-rejection medicine for the rest of her life. Um, and it, it's it's costly. Um, there is the chance that she she could require an, I mean, another transplant sometime in her life. So, I mean, this is something that's going to be with her the rest of her life. And this, will, this money will benefit her now and, and later in life.